Hi guys, it's July 4th and another Independence Day. Mr. Brown and I want to wish everybody a happy 4th of July. Be safe. Let's all celebrate today and please be safe. Hi guys, it's hot and tomorrow is the 4th of July, it's Independence Day. So I want to wish everybody a happy 4th. And uh, let's not turn the ovens on. Let's make a strawberry icebox layered uh, dessert. It'll be cool and refreshing. And the best thing is we won't have to turn the oven on. So uh, let's make something good. And uh, everybody have a good day. And uh, God bless. Okay, let's get started with this dessert. Now, I've got uh, a 9 by 13 glass dish here, and I've got some uh, graham crackers. That's going to be the first layer is a layer of graham crackers, and I've, crackers, and I've got <laughs> I've got some sliced strawberries that I put on this tray, and I put it on parchment paper so that uh, it would soak up some of the water. And in the bowl, I've got two boxes of instant vanilla pudding with three and a half cups of milk that I mixed up and put in the refrigerator. Now I'm going to add a can of sweetened condensed milk. Get it all in there and I'm just going to I think I'm going to use my blender with this and I've got eight ounces of uh, softened cream cheese and you really need to have your cream cheese at room temperature. It don't need to be cold because it won't mix up good. So I'm going to take my blender, and uh, so bear with me. I'm going to try to get this as smooth and mixed up as I can. Okay, it took a couple of minutes, but I got it mixed up, and I'm going to put about two cups of Cool Whip in with this mixture. I'm not going to beat up the mixer, I'm just going to fold the Cool Whip in. It's really going to make this uh, cream cheese pudding filling, it's going to make it light and fluffy. So I'll just kind of fold it in. If you mix it too much, it your uh, your filling just won't be uh, hold up like it should. So just kind of pour your spatula into you and just kind of fold it in. And sometimes you can even turn your bowl if that helps. I'm kind of at an awkward position here, but I'm going to try to do this as well as I can. And if you're still seeing Cool Whip, then it's not folding in good enough. So just just keep folding it till you get in there. It'll all come together. Now, like I said, that cream cheese got to be at least room temperature, or it just it won't mix good. I think we're getting there. It looks pretty good. Now. Our first layer is the graham crackers. Our second layer is going to be half of this filling mixture. We're just going to kind of spread it around as even as we can. And then graham crackers, um, they'll kind of soften in the refrigerator too with all this filling on top of it. Now I do a, a dessert like this that's really good too with chocolate pudding. and I think it's chocolate pudding and one layer and next layer is cream cheese and Cool Whip and it's really good too. And then our next layer is strawberries. And you're just gonna lay them on here don't have to be precise, but you just want to get 
This is about two pounds of sliced strawberries. And I'm going to try to get most of them on there. So I'm just going to keep layering. And after I had put these strawberries on this cookie sheet on this parchment paper, I kind of sprinkled a little bit of sugar on top of them strawberries, sweeten up a little bit. And like I said, that parchment paper kind of soaked up some of the the liquid so that my strawberries wouldn't be so wet when I put them. Of course, that one, I had to eat that one. That one was good. Couldn't put it in there, though. Had to eat it. And just keep layering. Because you want a good layer of strawberries. Because you got you got your layer of graham crackers, you got your, your filling layer, and now you want a layer of strawberries. Okay, we got that that layer, and we're going to start with our layer of graham crackers again. And we'll be able to get a few more graham crackers on this layer because your bottom, the very bottom of your pan is more narrow. It gets wider at the top. So what you'll do is you'll just kind of piece, it's like a puzzle, you just have to piece your, your graham cracker layer together. It's like a puzzle. Just get as many of them in there as you can. And this is going to be really good. When it's hot like this, it's good to have a, a good cold icebox dessert. Just put them, if you have to layer them, you know, stack them a little bit, go ahead. It's not going to hurt nothing. Get as many on each corner as you can. Pat it down. Then we're going to put the rest of the filling on top. And you see that some of that Cool Whip didn't, didn't get folded in very good, but It'll be okay. I was afraid to mess with it too much. So just spread all this out evenly. And some of your cream cheese just didn't get mixed up good enough. It, it'll be okay. It might have been just a little bit still too cold. Just spread it out and get it even in your pan. It's going to be so good. And of course your next layer again is another layer of strawberries. Now, in making this dessert for the fourth, if I would have had some fresh blueberries, I could have made uh, the flag. I could have made a, right here in the corner, I could have put a a square of blueberries and I, like this I could have put like the red stripes with strawberries and you would have had the American flag but I didn't have any blueberries so we're just gonna go ahead and fill this whole thing up with strawberries just like the other layer it's gonna be so good I'll have to eat this one too. I think these strawberries were like a dollar ninety-eight uh, a pound at Walmart. They weren't too bad strawberries, but they just weren't real, real sweet. Okay, this is our last layer, and it's a layer of Cool Whip. And I've got a big thing, the big tub of Cool Whip. So I'm going to put the rest of it here on top. Because you remember I put two cups of Cool Whip in with my filling. I'm going to put the rest of it on top. Just spread it around as even as you can get it. And it does make a pan full. I 
I love Cool Whip. Just spread it around. Get it even as you can. It don't have to be beautiful. I know we all like our desserts to be pretty, though. So, I don't know what everybody's plans are today, but I just hope everybody stays safe and has a good time. We're going to cook out, maybe take the kids, their grandkids, to the creek or something. We're just going to stay around the house today. <clears throat> the roads are pretty busy today. The rivers and the lakes are busy. So I'm just going to spread this out. Kind of sloppy, but it'll be good. And then, I'm not going to put another layer on it, but... Uh, I'm going to take my graham crackers and I'm just going to kind of crush them up in my hand. Crush them over the Cool Whip. And if you got big pieces of graham crackers, that's okay. Just let them fall on there. It'll be good. You know, I love graham crackers. Sometimes I'll take graham crackers and uh, get me a glass of cold milk and I'll stick them graham crackers in there. And let them soak up that milk and just eat them with a spoon. Not very healthy, but it was good. Just keep it crumbling the best you can. It makes it look pretty, and whatever you put on the top of your dessert, people know that that's what's inside a dessert. So they'll know that there's a layer of graham crackers. And just put you a few strawberries on top, so when they see it, they'll know that there's probably strawberries in this dessert. You don't have to do that, but just kind of party it up a little bit. And guys, I hope y'all like this recipe. It was very easy, and uh, it's going to be really good. So guys, if y'all like this video, look at there. I'm going to show you the layers. Look at that pretty. Look at the layers. It's going to be good. I guarantee you. So if y'all like this video, this recipe, give me a thumbs up. And uh, everybody take care and have a good fourth. God bless everybody.